hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into this video so for today's video i'm starting off with my nail prep i'm using my cuticle pusher to push back all my cuticles and then once i push my cuticles back i'm using this needle drill bit to go around the cuticle just to make sure that i get up any of that dead skin And then I'm taking my cuticle drill bit to go around the cuticle once again. And I do this first because it's much safer and easier than using the cuticle cutters. And when I first started using them, I would just cut my cuticle so much. So I just started doing this first. And sometimes it works good, sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, I just take the cuticle nippers and just cut like what's left. And then if it's not that bad, I'll just leave it. If it's not necessary because I don't want to cut myself so um, using cuticle nippers you do want to make sure that you are very careful because it will hurt trust me I've done it plenty of times and you don't want to damage your cuticle area so yeah And then once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to take my sanding band and go around the cuticle once more and remove the shine from my natural nails. And then I'm just going to remove that dust with some rubbing alcohol. And I'm not going to go in with the primer and dehydrator. I'm just going to use this alcohol as my dehydrator. And then next, I'm going to go in and apply the nail tips. And this part is not necessary, but this is just what I like to do. I just like to cut like that back piece since they are so big. And then I'm using my KDS nail glue, putting a dot at the tip and making sure that these nails are straight. And then I'm just going to apply all of these nails. And now that they are applied, I'm just going to take my nail tip cutter and I'm just going to cut them down to my desired length. And then we have them cut down. I'm just taking my hand file and I'm going to taper these nails in just a little bit. So I'm taking my nail file and I'm adding pressure towards the tip, just slightly making sure that I keep my file straight. And I have been loving this like tapered square look a lot lately because as you can see in my videos, I have been doing this a lot in my recent videos. So yeah, I'm really loving this. And then next, once I have done that for all of the nails, I'm going to go back once again to blend in the tip with my natural nail. And then I'm also going to remove the shine from the nail tip. Then I'm going to remove the dust with some more rubbing alcohol. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go in with some base coat by Model Ones and just paint a layer over all of my nails. And then I'm going to cure in the nail light for 30 seconds. And after I add the base coat before I cure, I'm just making sure that I clean up the sides. And then once I cure, I'm going to be using this Model Ones Pure White. And then I'm also going to be using this Bouquet Flores Dry Flowers and Nail um, Extension Gel Kit from a cart. And y'all look at this clear. I've been using out of this clear so much to like encapsulate my nails. But yeah, these flowers are super pretty. This is what it comes with. It comes with like three different sets of flowers. And these are super pretty for the springtime. So yeah, I'm super excited to try these. As you can see, they are still in the pack. And then it comes with um, some little tweezers. 
and this is the clear but yeah i'm starting off by putting some of the white poly gel on my nails and then i'm also using some of the model one slip solution but yeah i'm just starting at the cuticle area and then i'm just going to pat this down my nail and for some reason this poly gel was like super super soft so i had to be careful not to add a ton of pressure and yeah, i'm just working this in patting this into place and i did it i made sure that i didn't add too much to like the base layer because i had to add the flowers and then go in with some more poly gel to give it the like milk bath effect or whatever so yeah i made sure that this layer wasn't too thick and then once i pat this poly gel into place i'm going to add my dried flowers And then once I got this poly gel as smooth as I could get it, I'm starting off by cutting this one flower because I am working on my pinky nail and that flower was way too big. And y'all not be trying to pick it up with my brush. <laughs> but yeah, I just got that flower and I'm just pressing it into the wet poly gel. And then I'm just going to get like the um, random colors of flowers and the little stems and just placing them where I feel like they would be best or like tie this design together and the green stems I feel like tie like the whole milk bath and flower nail designs together for some reason yeah I'm just gonna place these all over the nail and then make sure to press them down into the poly gel one last time before I cure and then once I do that I'm just going to cure this for like 30 to 60 seconds and then repeat the same process over all my nails And then after I cured, some of the flowers and like stems were like sticking up, but like I didn't feel like it would be a problem because I did have to go in and encapsulate all of this. So I could have just like covered it up. But yeah, I'm just going to repeat this over all my nails. And I did have so much fun doing these nails. Hopefully you stay to the end to see how my nails turn out. But if you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure that you leave a like and comment down below. And yeah, I'm just going to let this process play out and then come back once I'm done doing doing this for all of my nails
for this nail set working with my thumb was like my favorite nail because like the flowers were like big so i couldn't fit like the whole flowers on my other nails because they were too like skinny but yeah my thumb was like so fun to do i could put like the whole flowers up there so yeah and that pink flower is so so pretty i love that pink shade like it's just so pretty but yeah i'm just going to finish this off And then this is how it looks after I have added the flowers to all of my nails. And so far I am loving these. And for the milky white color, I'm just adding some of that clear that came in the um, the bouquet nail flower kit. And I'm taking some of the white Model Ones Poly Gel and I'm just mixing this on my nail palette until I get like a milky white color. And I did do my pinky nail first, but once I did it, like once I added the poly gel, some of the flowers were like peeling back, sticking to that poly gel. So after I cured that, I just went ahead and added like a top coat or base coat. I forget which one I'm using, but I added that to like my nails to seal these flowers in. And I cured this for 30 seconds. And then once I do that, I'm just going to um, encapsulate all of my other nails. And I'm taking some of the milky white color with my spatula first, adding it in like some sections. And then I'm going in and squeezing some of the clear out on my nails and like the empty spaces because I didn't want like the whole entire nail to be like such a milky white color. I wanted some, spot, some spots to be clear as well. So yeah, I'm just doing it like that. And then once I get that coverage, I'm just going to pat the poly gel in place, encapsulate it and here of course and then I'm going to move on to my next nail until I'm done with all of my nails And then after encapsulating all of my nails, this is how it looks. Y'all, they're looking a little thick right now. So let's get into this filing. So first, I'm taking my hand file and, and I'm just going to file my the sides of my nails and like taper the shape back in and kind of clean up the shape. And then I'm also going to like go over the surface of the nails just a little bit and then also file the free edge of all of my nails. And then once I finish doing this, I'm going to go back over it with my nail drill because like I said, and as you can see, these nails are a little bit thick and I don't want that. So I'm just going to use my nail drill to make this process a whole lot faster. And I'm going to leave like a time stamp on the screen or like on the little scroll bar to where like if you don't want to watch the entire filing process, although if you do, I would highly appreciate it but yeah i'm going to leave that on the screen or whatever just in case you don't want to watch the entire filing process and yeah i'm just going to finish this filing off and then come back with the next step
and then once I have finished filing my nails these are how they are looking and they look so much better and I'm loving the shape and my middle and index finger I accidentally found a little bit too much around my cuticle so I'm going to like disguise that with some rhinestones so I'm taking some top coat around my cuticle area and I'm just going to fill in the spaces around my cuticle and I'm going to repeat this step on my um, middle finger as well and then I'm going to come back and add some top coat to my nails. And I didn't show it, but like I said, I repeated the, pr the process on my middle finger. I cured both for 30 seconds. And then here, I'm just adding some top coat to all of my nails. And then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds and then add some cuticle oil. And then I'll be done with this nail set. And then after rubbing that cuticle oil in, these are how my nails turn out. I am super impressed how these nails turn out. I'm loving these flowers. I've always loved like the milk, milk bath look, but like I'm just now getting to do these nails and I'm so happy that I finally did. I had so much fun creating this set and I want to recreate this set using some acrylic because I feel like the milky white color with acrylic would be like easier to achieve. So I'm down with recreating this. Comment down below what you guys think if I should retry this. And like I said, I had so much fun doing this with these flowers and I like how these turn out. And as always, if you have made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.